We've all been there. You're sitting quietly, maybe reading or watching TV, when suddenly a tiny itch creeps up on your arm. At first, you try to ignore it, but it nags you, growing more and more impossible to resist. Finally, you give in, scratch it, and instant relief. But then strangely, sometimes the itch comes back even stronger. It's such a common part of being human, but if you think about it, itching is actually a pretty bizarre sensation. Why does it exist in the first place? Why does it feel so different from pain or tickling? And why on earth does scratching feel so satisfying, even when it sometimes makes things worse? Today, let's dig into the science of what makes an itch feel itchy and why our brains reward us for scratching it, right here on History of Simple Things. Itching, known scientifically as pruritus, is one of the strangest sensory experiences our bodies produce. Unlike pain, which alerts us to serious damage or touch, which helps us interact with the world, itch is more like a whispering alarm system. It tells us that something small but irritating is happening on the surface of our skin. It could be a mosquito bite, dry skin, an allergic reaction, or even something as simple as a stray hair brushing against us. In evolutionary terms, itch likely developed as a way to warn us about tiny threats, like insects or parasites, that might harm us if we don't brush them away. That's why the urge to scratch is so irresistible. It's our brain's way of saying, deal with this now. So how does your body actually create the feeling of itch? The process starts in the skin, where specialized nerve endings detect certain chemical signals. When you get bitten by a mosquito, for example, your immune system releases histamines, a chemical that causes inflammation. Those histamines activate itch-specific nerve fibers, which then send a signal up through your spinal cord and into the brain. What's fascinating is that itch isn't just a weaker version of pain, as scientists once thought. For a long time, researchers believed pain and itch were part of the same pathway, just on different levels. But newer discoveries show that itch actually has its own dedicated nerve fibers, known as pruriceptors. These are specialized to detect itchy sensations and carry those messages along a unique route. In other words, your body has a whole sensory system devoted just to itch, separate from pain or touch. That's why the feeling is so distinct. It's its own category of sensation. Now here's the part we all know too well, scratching. Why does dragging your nails across an itchy spot feel almost euphoric? When you scratch, you're essentially causing mild pain or irritation to the skin. That pain temporarily overrides the itch signals traveling to the brain. It's like turning up the volume on one channel to drown out the noise on another. Your brain shifts attention from the itch to the new sensation of scratching, which brings a wave of relief. But it doesn't stop there. Scratching also triggers the release of serotonin, a chemical in the brain associated with pleasure and well-being. That's why scratching an itch feels oddly rewarding, even though you know you might end up making the skin more irritated. In some cases, scratching can even become addictive, creating a cycle where you keep going back to it because your brain craves that momentary rush of relief. Of course, scratching isn't always helpful. Sometimes it makes things much worse. If you've ever scratched a mosquito bite until it turned red and swollen, you know exactly what I mean. The problem is that scratching causes tiny amounts of damage to the skin, which can release even more inflammatory chemicals. Those chemicals can intensify the itch, creating what scientists call the itch-scratch cycle. The more you scratch, the more it itches, and the more it itches, the more you want to scratch, it's a biological trap that can leave you miserable. 
This cycle is especially tough for people with chronic conditions like eczema or psoriasis, where the itch can be overwhelming and constant. In those cases, scratching doesn't just bring temporary relief. It can actually worsen the underlying problem by breaking the skin and inviting infections. So while scratching feels good in the moment, it's not always the smartest solution. Here's another strange fact. Itching can be contagious. If you've ever seen someone else scratching and suddenly felt itchy yourself, you've experienced this phenomenon. Just talking about itch can sometimes make people want to scratch. Scientists believe this is linked to the way our brains mirror other people's sensations, almost like a form of empathy. The same regions of the brain light up when we see someone else scratching as when we itch ourselves. This might have once been useful for survival, since if one person noticed parasites or bugs, others nearby would be prompted to check themselves too. As annoying as itching is, it serves a real purpose. Think about early humans sleeping outdoors, exposed to insects and parasites. An itch would have been a life-saving alarm telling them to swat away a mosquito carrying disease or remove a crawling bug before it burrowed into the skin. Even though most of us today aren't fighting off parasites on a daily basis, that ancient system is still wired into our nervous system. It's a reminder that sometimes the smallest signals in our body are just as important as the big ones. At the end of the day, Itch is one of those quirks of biology that makes us human. It's irritating, sometimes unbearable, yet also oddly satisfying when we give in to the urge to scratch. Behind that simple sensation is an entire network of nerves, chemicals, and evolutionary history, all designed to keep us safe from tiny threats. Scratching feels rewarding because it hijacks our brain's pleasure pathways, but it also teaches us an important lesson not every quick fix is actually good for us in the long run. So the next time an itch sneaks up on you and you can't resist scratching it, remember, what feels like a simple reflex is really a complex dance between your skin, your nerves, and your brain. It's nature's way of saying, pay attention. Something small but important is happening here. And maybe, just maybe, you'll think twice before giving in to that satisfying scratch. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.